it's painful, but you know, I have no choice. I have to do it. This is the way I can tell people. Something painful, and then you can let it out. If you don't let it out, it can hurt you sometimes. My name is James Mokwach. I'm one of the lost boys of Sudan. I started painting in 1995 in Kakum refugee camp. I like to paint most than our journey. Journey from Sudan to Ethiopia, from Ethiopia to Kenya, from uh, Kenya to here. This is a refugee camp, and the same thing can happen. The enemy soldiers can come and attack the camp. The war started in 1983 in my country, in Sudan. And that war, the Sudan government sent the militias to come and attack the villages. The militias come by horse, come and burning the houses, and looting for the cattle camp, killing young men, and rape to, to young women. It was worse in 1987. The Sudan government sent the, the airplane to come and bomb our villages. So our parents, they have no choice. Mostly the boys were targeted. So the enemy knew that if we grow up, we're going to rebel. The enemy came and attacked the villages. I left life while I don't tell my parents bye-bye. I just left with some of my friends. So we went to Ethiopia. We lived there for almost four years. But on our way to Ethiopia, it was bad. We were like more than 35,000 boys. It started from age five to 11. I was 11 years old, and some boys, they could not manage to walk. We had to carry them on our shoulders and the wild animals too attack us. Nothing to eat. Man and boy, they die from starvation. When we live in Ethiopia, the war starts again, civil war. They follow us to a place called Gilo, the river. They call us on the bank of the river, and then more than 2,000 got shot, not even one hour. So we have to swim jump in the water and have to swim, and the enemy keep shooting. And each one of us have to cross on the dead bodies. We walk like three months in the desert. That three months we lost one boy too. We were like more, more than 35,000 when we left in 1987. And when we came to Kenya, it's only 16,000 survived out of 35,000. So like when I came here, I had some painting come with me to the United States, showing people. It's easier for me to tell a story when they see the picture. Some people, they don't know about the problem in, in Sudan before. So what I like in my country is the peace, to be in peace. People can love one another and no more killing, no war. For more information on the Lost Boys of Sudan, visit www.thelostboysfoundation.org.